Hey guys, well I wanted to take a second and more than a second, it'll be a few minutes, um, to talk to you guys about a couple different things that are actually kind of intertwined with each other. Those two things being how to utilize playlists um, and how to find videos, but primarily about playlists, and also talking to you guys about when a uh, KK episode can be replaced, or a KK replacement if you will, with a recap. Sometimes uh, a KK episode will be replaced by the recap version, and you will see that in the playlist. So I just wanted to tell, talk to you guys a little bit about that. So if you're trying to find the video, well, number one, if you watch one of our videos, please give it a thumbs up. What that's going to do is that's going to help us with recommendations, but it's also going to put the video into your liked playlist, your liked videos playlist. That is, by default, a private playlist on your account that only you can see. What you can also do is create your own playlists. You know, you could make a playlist just for duct tape gags, just for cleave gags, and put, you can make those public, unlisted, or private, and you can add our KK episodes into those playlists. You know, things like that, home invasions, all different. You can make your own list with our videos in them. However, we have our own playlists here, and any good YouTube creator is going to have um, their playlists well organized and taken care of. So if you go to our channel homepage, you're going to see playlists underneath the recent uploads. If you're a returning subscriber, there's a promo for caught in traffic at the top, and then there's uploads, and then there's several playlists underneath. Those are some homepage, um, you know, popular content playlists, things like that. The whole recap list is there. Um, you know, uh, you got the DID most wanted list, some really great scenes in there. And I, I keep these up to date pretty well. Obviously, you have our original live action titles at the top. Um, but those are some playlists. Now, if there's a video you want to find, okay, there's a couple of different ways to do this, but I'm going to tell you that a playlist is the best way to do it using playlists so the every single youtube channel you go to there's like a magnifying glass uh up by the underneath the channel art where the tabs are that's a search bar so you can go to our channel click on that magnifying glass and type in a description if there is an actress you're looking for um a type of scene something that you have a description for but you can't remember what it is Oh yeah, and I also want to say, I'll probably end up doing another video about this at one point, but uh, at some point. Um, don't ask me what a scene is from, okay, because I've already told you. If, there, if you want to know what a scene is from, there's two ways to find this out. Number one, you can actually watch the video. That's an option. Believe it or not, I know that's crazy. This is a video platform, but you can't actually watch the video. That's your first option. Second option is to read the video description because all of the details are always in the video description. If you ask me what this scene is from, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not in the comments section. I'm not going to spoon feed you when I've again when I've already spoon fed you once, technically twice. Okay, I've given you all the information already. And starting with episode two, if, no, 240 onward, 230, yeah, 236 onward maybe. When you watch the videos after the intro, it comes up in white text and tells you where it's from. It tells you the year. It tells you who owns it. Okay, so just please don't be so lazy. I mean, watch the video, read the description. Um, okay, now that I've covered that. You can use this magnifying search tool to try and find stuff. However, this only goes so far. You can use the search box on YouTube.com to search for stuff. It, this only goes so far, though. Because if a video is not public, if it is unlisted, then you, this won't work. It will not come up. And that leads me to the next tab on there, the videos tab. The videos tab is useless. If you're trying to find a video, don't use the videos tab. The videos tab is a total mess because the videos tab is a collection of public videos on a channel in the order they were uploaded. And you guys know because of all the mess with the kind of content we make when it comes to re-uploads, our content is not uploaded in order. You can't go through the videos tab and expect to find what you're looking for in numerical order or anything like that. So 
unless you're looking from our newest upload, if you missed a video, if you got a notification, which it'll be on the home page anyway, the videos tab is pretty much worthless. It really is a worthless tab. However, next to the videos tab, there is the playlist tab. This is where all of our playlists, okay, are listed. All of our public playlists are stuck in this tab. The complete KK episode list, the recap list, the R&R &R episodes, the live streams, everything that's a public playlist is in the playlist tab. And I will tell you that I keep very good playlists. If you click on the full KK playlist, right now at the time I make this, 280 episodes, you will find no deleted video, no private video, nothing like that. One of the episodes is blocked in a couple of countries right now. We re-uploaded it once, we have to re-upload it again. Episode 252, Germany, maybe Hungary. A couple countries that, episode, that video is blocked in. I'm aware of it. A handful of videos are not accessible through mobile devices. Um, this is the copyright holder settings. Uh, we're gonna re-upload, we'll work on re-uploads. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so if you go to the full KK playlist, you'll see that all 280 episodes are in there. If there does happen to be a private video in that list while you're watching, what that means is it's a scheduled upload. So if you're looking through the list and it says private video, that means that I have that set scheduled to go live at some point soon. And then once it does, it'll no longer be private. So I've already put it in the playlist where it belongs. It's just not a released video yet. But all 280 episodes are in there, um, so you can watch them. I mean, they're, they're all there. Uh, and one thing you can do, like I said, we want you to thumbs up the video. We want you, you know, if you want to make your own playlist, that's cool. But one thing you can do in the top right corner, if you're watching the playlist, you can click the plus button, and what that will do is save the 4KK playlist to your library. So if you look on your YouTube browser on the left-hand side, you'll see library. Um, yeah, it's on the left, near the top left-hand side, it's gonna say library. That's a private um, part of your account that has your browsing history um, and all videos, all your playlists are in there, all kinds of shit's in there for you to see. Excuse me. And you can also add other people's playlists into your library. So if you add the KK playlist, into your library, you don't have to add, you don't have to make your own KK playlist or anything like that. And you'll always have access to the full playlist that I'm moderating, that I'm taking care of and curating and making it the way it's supposed to be. Um, so learn how to utilize playlists if you want to rewatch scenes and rewatch videos. Like I said, occasionally we turn, we have to turn a video to unlisted, um, typically because of a delayed copyright claim. And when that happens, that video is no longer searchable through words, through the videos tab. You could only get to it through a playlist. So whether you've added to your own playlist or the KK playlist, the unlisted videos can only be accessed if I send you a link directly or if you have it through, click on it through a playlist. It's the only way you can get to an unlisted video. So that being said, if you're in the full KK playlist, or even probably the most wanted list or some of the other ones, but the full KK playlist primarily, if you're looking through it, what you may see is some episode titles and some thumbnails probably that are a little out of place with the other episodes surrounding it. This is a second part of this video. When a KK recap replaces an original KK episode, this was never my intention with the recaps. The whole point of the recap was to do something different, to show higher quality footage specifically, more context, different commentary. Um, that was the whole point of upgrading the original episodes because our first 80 episodes pretty much suck. I mean, the quality was terrible on almost all of them. Um, and then even the next 150, um, the video quality is much better in almost all of them. But the commentary's bad. It's a GoPro. I, you know, used to crank those out like crazy. We have recapped several episodes after episode 80. Um, that we have, we try. I try not to do those as much though, just because the first 80, most of them are so bad, and I want to get them out in higher quality. 
But um, if you look at the playlist, what you'll see, like right at the top, you have KKF1, KKF2, KKF3, and then you have KKF4, comma, 72, I think, slash recap 8. What that means is that I deleted episodes 4 and 72, and recap 8, this was the crow, by the way, because there is a scene in the actual official release of the crow, and then there's a deleted DID scene in the crow. Original being episode 4, deleted scene being 72. I had those as two separate videos. The quality was terrible uh, all the way around on both of them. And then we did the recap, me, Samantha, and Danny, uh, almost two years ago. We recapped The Crow and recap 8, and it's got great commentary and great video quality, and both of the scenes are together as one. So at that point, I was like, you know, I'm just going to delete episodes 4 and 72 because they suck, and there's no point in you watching those when you could watch recap 8 instead, when it's better and it's the same scenes. So sometimes, um, and we did the same thing with The Cottage. Uh, that's recap 20. Remember, The Cottage was episodes 34 and 55, I think, because I wasn't aware that there were extra scenes that I missed the first time, even though I claim those are my all-time, some of my all-time favorites, and they are. I just hadn't seen them at the time. Um, now I've seen them a lot. Um, you know, great scenes, and we did the awesome recap with Anna and Samantha, so I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to, and the one had an age restriction originally, um, episode 30. For the first one because of zooming on accident whatever so i was like okay well and actually episode 55 is still on the channel and i think it's searchable it's just no longer in a playlist um because it sucks um, the original cottage episode sucked we made this awesome recap so i was like you know what i'm just taking episodes 34 and 55 out of the playlist and i'm replacing them with recap 20 so now it says KKF34, comma 55, slash recap 20. You go through the playlist, you're going to see several examples of that, um, where recaps have just replaced the original episodes because the original episodes weren't very good. And there was nothing, no reason to try and remake those, recut those. Um, you know, I spent enough time doing re-uploads as is. Uh, it was never the intention, though. I always wanted the original episodes to be on there. And if I did delete them, they were deleted for a reason. And that those two reasons are, of course, age restrictions or copyright claims. Right now, we have zero videos on our channel with an age restriction. The most recent one was that Cameron Diaz video from a week or so ago. Um, see, the thing is, had we already recapped Head Above Water... I wouldn't have re-uploaded that. I would have just said, okay, age restriction on the original video, we've got the awesome recap, delete the original video, change the title on the recap to, F, I don't know what it was, 30, I don't know, I don't know which one it was, 50-something um, probably. Um, just change the title on the recap video and stick it into the original KK playlist, thus getting rid of the age restricted video, deleting off the channel and still letting you watch it in the playlist with the superior recap version. But there is no recap version of Head Above Water. So I had to re-upload the original. That's kind of how that works. Um, we replaced uh, episode 35 with recap four. So that's in there too. That was the Russian home invasion mother-daughter scene because the original was age restricted. So I deleted that, just replaced it with the recap. So right now we have zero age restrictions. We do have 35 videos with copyright claims on them. What does that mean? Does that mean you have 35 re-uploads to look forward to? In theory, yes, but not necessarily because I will tell you that two of those videos are going to be deleted and turned into one recap very soon. So those one, those two of those 35 will not be re-uploaded, they'll just be deleted and the superior recap version will come out that condenses those two episodes into the recap. There were three different um, titles that had two different episodes in the original 80 episodes of the show. I already mentioned um, uh, the Crow, The Cottage, and there's one other one. And we're going to be condensing that into a recap soon enough. And so those two that both have claims on them will be deleted. 
um, kind of killing two birds with one stone there. It makes it a little easier. Um, but yeah, are we going to re-upload all 35 of those? No. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to re-upload a lot of them, and it's probably going to take a couple years to do that. So when you see a video with a title that says KK Ep, then the episode number, and then slash, that's what that means. That means the original upload has been replaced with a recap for superior viewing quality, for your convenience, for saving our time. I had it happen the other day, actually. I had a, a copyright claim come in on episode 116. Uh, that's that terrible Anna Kendrick scene. Well, we had already recapped it. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to redo this crappy original episode of this. Well, the original episode actually wasn't that bad because it was 116, but the scene sucked. Those Mr. Wright scene sucks. We had already done the recap, so why would I re-upload that video for no reason? You know, you guys aren't watching that video anyway. It's terrible. So I just replaced it. I just deleted it out of the playlist, deleted the video, changed the title on the recap to match, and stuck it into the KK playlist. So some videos actually, like The Cottage and uh, The Crow, those recap videos are actually in the original KK playlist in two different spots. Like I said, there's going to be a third one that does that as well. Um, that's just to keep you know the continuity so people aren't like, "Where's a missing? Ep there's a missing episode. Um, but they're easy to read. I think it's pretty easily, easily organized and easy to follow. I've done this for your convenience so you can always find everything. That's the whole point. I want you guys to be able to know where things are at and be able to watch them again. That's why we do the re-uploads, because sometimes videos get blocked in certain countries, and we want to make them public. So that's why we do this stuff. Hopefully that answers some questions and helps you learn how to utilize playlists, because they are good for keeping track of series if you're watching episodes in order, if you want to not lose track of things, be able to find something whenever, when a video is turned up listed, you can't search for it. Utilize the playlist tab. Don't go to the videos tab. You'll find everything there. So that's that. Look forward to, oh God, what do we have coming up next? Um, I'm trying to get a couple re-uploads out first, and then we're going to have Recap 23. Well, one of the re-uploads re is Recap 22. I have to re-upload a recap. I've uh, been waiting to get the approval on that one, Recap 22. And then we got Recap 23. Then 20, the recap 24 will come after that. Then we're going into episode 281 to 290. Um, you know, and there'll probably be some recaps or re-uploads along the way. Um, but, you know, that's that's what we have coming here. Um, you know, I hope you guys are excited for that. Sorry for the delay on the new episodes, but, you know, you run into editing roadblocks. It's tough. And then things pop up like unexpected age restrictions and claims, and you got to deal with those. It's a mess. Um but I've talked about that before, haven't I? So that's what we got. I'm going to see you guys soon and enjoy the new content.